Arty Hari Miarties, and welcome to a redstone tutorial. Oh, this is the first tutorial I've done in a while. That's fun. Time to build something together. Now, what you have in front of you is something that may look very sim uh, familiar. It's a sorting system. But, there is a but. This is not a regular sorting system. As you can see on the left side of this thing we have some regular redstoning stuff and on the right side we have some things that have been smelted like iron, gold, glass and smooth stone. What you can see in my inventory, which is what we will put into the system, is cobblestone, sand, uh, gold ore and iron ore and also coal, which isn't here at all. So this is a sorting system with a built-in uh, smelting circuit and as you can see uh, it is completely tileable and uh, you will see how this looks in a minute. Uh, this is actually a response to a guy that commented. I should have remembered his name I, but I don't. But someone commented and asked uh, if it's possible to make the smelting and sorting part. You know, you smelt the stuff and then you sort them to make that more compact. And this is a response to that, so compactness is the goal. Uh, so I am going to put uh, the stuff inside here. And I'm gonna let it wait. You should have heard a piston and some rail. Or carts. Yeah, you can hear the cart going and the piston and stuff like that. And sooner or later you should see uh, smelted items right here. And after that you will see redstone and the other stuff over here. So this is now being smelted and sorted at the very same time. And I'm just going to wait for a few moments. And uh, then we'll see uh, what's inside these chests. And let's take a look at the end result. Now this won't be very surprising. We have 16 ingots of each, 16 glass, 16 stone and 16 of everything else because that's what we put into the system. Uh, except that these are now smelted and the coal is nowhere to be found. Now to answer those questions to why these are smelted and where the hell is the coal I will have to remove this casing and show you how the redstone. Hello and welcome back. I moved down the frame so I could remove the stair blocks that were placed above this so that you could get a better look. Now this is the entire system looking from the front. This part is of course optional and most likely won't even be there if you're using this in survival. Now, taking a quick fly around, you can see that this is not much bigger than any other sorting system around the place. Uh, one thing that you may note is that the, it is a little bit lower and you actually get a buffer uh, with this system. Now you could actually raise all these up one to make it a little bit more compact in a... Uh, grid line but I think this is the uh, best way to do it. I don't know why I even mentioned that at all so let's just forget it. Now this part uh, from the redstone and forward is like oh yeah any other sorting system uh, as you can see it's a tileable design works as any other that you have seen it's the standard design uh, Kind of a variation of the standard design, I should say. Uh, as you can see, we have the uh, 21 blocks and 22 with the filter item. Another hopper below it, which actually has a hopper in the hopper, which is a hopper reception. Uh, we have a buffer chest and another hopper. And then the uh, actual chest we will be looking at. And the reason why we have this is to get this at the right level, because if we go to the uh, side that we are actually interested in, you can see that we have uh, furnaces built into the system. And they are just uh, 
a pathway for the items as you can see we are filtering out the iron ore up here we're putting them on the top of this furnace we're taking them out from the bottom and placing them into a chest which, which results in ingots and the rest of the circuitry which is over here is actually just to uh, give the coal out or um, disperse it so all of the furnaces have the right amount of fuel as you can see they all have well this one had a bit less for some reason i don't know why seems like one coal has gone missing actually that's probably what happened it went missing somewhere i did have a little bit of a problem with the elevator when i recorded this and let's keep going as if nothing happened okay so to start things off you're going to have to decide where you want your uh, chests and how many smelted items you want now I'm gonna take four because that is probably the maximum amount so I'm gonna make this four by two and start placing trap chests and regular chest trapped and regular uh, they don't have to be double chests, but it makes things easier to hide. On the back side, we're going to place hoppers. Above those, we are going to place furnaces, which I will also need. So, four furnaces. Uh, above those, we are going to need hoppers again. Like so. And behind them, or above the hoppers again, you will place hoppers facing to the back of the machine uh, we are going to read the output of these build up the uh, torch on the uh, comparator it doesn't matter you can do this it doesn't doesn't matter at all uh, we are also going to build out down here and place torches on the side of this block so they're facing into uh, the block above them, locking these hoppers. We're going to turn off those uh, torches with comparators, which we are going to power with our redstone dust, which also are powered by redstone dust. Now you want to fill the uppermost hoppers with a random item that will not end up in your system you can use named items so you can name sticks you can name them one two three or whatever else and they won't stack with other sticks i'm going to use quartz the easiest way to do this is left click and drag the mouse so you get 21 you can do like this it's pretty simple and you're going to do this and in the slot that is left if the inventory opens there you will place the item you want to smelt so you're going to do this for all of the things like so and then select your um, items you want to smelt you of course don't have to use four you can have one or three or two as well as five or twenty one uh, but this is the start of it. Now we are going to build the part that sorts out the coal and dis uh, distributes them among the furnaces. For that we are going to need hoppers facing into each individual furnace from this side. Uh, if this is the end you will place in two blocks like this at a diagonal shape. You will place a half slab right there and then two blocks uh, out from that and build up one uh, then you will also need to build your hopper line that is going to go above these you will face them to the left and you will go out and then build three blocks out so you will end right here this so two away from your first sorter you will start and build another cell whoops this isn't going perfectly uh, you will build another cell of uh, hoppers uh, or sorters just like this you will build one new sorter 
two blocks away or one block away from the others. So you can see there's a gap right here. And you will build exactly the same thing. Uh, like so, you will also need to set this up. But this has to be coal. This has to be. There is no option uh, to that. Uh, you will then face a hopper to this block right here. I will show you what will be become of that uh, soon. And then face a hopper into that. So the line goes like so. And then into whatever is right there. Uh, another thing you will need to do is place a block at the side of that torch so you can place a comparator facing out from this hopper. You'll place a block in front of that, a torch behind it, build out blocks like uh, that, and you will place a piston facing upward. You can use a regular piston with sand. I'm pretty sure most of you know how to make a monostable circuit, and that is what we're going to do. So place them like this, both repeaters set to 4. Uh, this one actually doesn't matter, but the 4 is actually recommended because it does matter. And I will tell you why soon, but not right now. And that is almost everything done. We have more circuitry to do, but I need to change my inventory before we start with that. So I have now changed my inventory and we are ready to continue. We are going to start with powered rail, place them like so. Uh, on this half slab that we placed before, we will place a detector rail, a regular rail, and then a powered rail where the hopper faces the rail. And we are going to place somewhere along this line on the side like so. We are going to place a block and put a lever right there. Uh, you could of course use a redstone block if you want to, but a redstone block is expensive and a lever and a block is random junk you find anywhere, so it's way cheaper. Now, note that this is the only way you can power this rail. Well, of course, you could put the torch on the top as well, or right here. Uh, but it is important that you do not place the block right here and power it, because you will actually break the sorting system. And if you place it over here, uh, if, the, if you are going to end the system right here and not expand it to have other items, this works fine. But you are probably going to expand this and use it as a regular sorting system, so that will break uh, that part of the system. So important to have it right there. Now we're going to place a block uh, next to this detector rail. We're going to place one block below that, and this is going to be a little bit tricky to follow. Uh, between these torches, you will place another block. You will fly up again, place a comparator uh, facing out from the detector rail. As you can see, there's a block between those. Uh, you will place a block in front of that uh, comparator, a torch on the side of that block. So you can see the comparator is facing into the torch, a redstone dust, and we will have to go below once again. We will take the signal from that redstone dot, we will bring it down and around, so down one block, a repeater set to one tick, and then bring it around like that, we will then place a block right there, I know it's difficult to see, but it is uh, below this hopper, and when we place the torch right there, the torch will be below this powered rail, making this power that if the storage minecart, which we are going to place right here, if there are items inside this, it will continue going back and forth. We have now created the coal distribution thing, and let's bring out the coal, because we will be needing that to access this, and uh, that was not what I was meant to do, I was meant to do this, place 21 items and a piece of coal. And we are almost done with the system, 
Uh, there are a few more things to do, but I will be back in a millisecond to show you what to do. So, a little quick add-ons, uh, how to increase the size of the system, and I'm actually going to tell you where the input is. Yes, that is important, I know. Uh, so, this is going to be your in input, uh, this hopper. It is very important that you do not make this your input. Uh, you cannot either do it like this. No, 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 that is forbidden. It will not work. The coal will not be sorted because of the way hoppers work. You have to input to this hopper with another hopper. You can do like this. This works. Uh, you can do like this or like this. It does not matter. Or even if you have a hopper line getting into it like that. The important thing is that you do not input right here it is important that you do it before that in the hopper line uh, so do remember that it is super duper importante yes cc uh, and if you want to add more items which is not going to be smelted but it's just going to be part of your smelting system uh, you will add more of these sorting systems uh, or cells. I have uh, gone ahead and made the redstone already for another one. I am going to place a trap chest right there and next to the uh, furnaces. You can place a not trap chest. Do I have trap chest and trap chest? Yes, I do. Noob. Uh, regular chest next to it so they don't connect which is also very important that these do not connect you will place hoppers facing down and i'm actually making two now because i realized that was better uh, hoppers like that and then of course uh, continue with the hopper line and if you're doing more you should also add the redstone the redstone is kind of important uh, otherwise this won't work so redstone added don't forget the torch they are also very important uh, the hopper and you have your miscellaneous stuff ending up here in this chest so if you have something that doesn't belong inside here it will just end up right there so we are going to add our ores we are going to add jungle wood and uh, if we add jungle wood like this, we will actually get charcoal as an output for me myself. I don't like the look of jungle wood. I like it because you make big trees, you chop them down and you make them into charcoal. And this makes everything perfect, at least for me. And now you are completely done. Uh, as I've said, this is your input. Uh, you can put uh, everything in here. Uh, something that is also very nice to have is coal. The system kind of requires coal to run, as furnaces require coal to run. Uh, that is one important part. And as the coal is getting sorted right here, uh, the uh, uh, comparator right here powers this torch, which in this monostable which is inverted, will send the cart once there are no more items here. And once uh, all the coal has been sent through, like it has been now, it will go off. And as you see, when this is on, uh, this is on. But once this goes empty, which it should be uh, very soon, uh, this comparator will not activate which make this not go on and the cart will come to a rest until it is needed another time. Now we are back at the first design. I realized I didn't tell you about the timing at uh, this repeater, why that was important. And that is because if you have a, a item elevator like this, the item elevator is slow, uh, at least slower than a hopper. That means that there will be a pause in this item uh, hopper and this will go before this is actually filled. 
If this is at one tick, this will have two items inside it and it will distribute two items and the next time uh, this will actually be full and there will be two more coal inside these hoppers and after a while there will be a lot more coal inside these hoppers. Uh, so when you put this to four ticks, this will actually receive four coal and it will distribute four coal which means in this system where we have four items uh, they will be distributed one at each furnace and no problems will be occurring and that should be it for this video i know it's a bit long oh god this is long for a redstone tutorial i am sorry about that uh, but i hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something it's very important to learn things Okay, so redstone dust there. If you did enjoy this, please leave a like. If you totally hated it and think I should start doing things in a different way, leave a dislike and a comment telling me I should act up and be a man and do better redstone tutorials. But if you loved it, subscribe and tell me. I know you tell me when you like things because you are awesome at commenting and I will see you on the next time. Yeah, 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 yeah.